Okay, now uh, I want to discuss uh, terms that uh, are widely spread uh, in antenna, antenna area. This is the far field, the near field, and the Fresnel field. This is not actually fields because the fields are only electric or magnetic fields. These are actually zones. This is a ranges from the antenna in which the electric and magnetic fields behave in a center, certain way. Let's start for the, for, from the far field. The far field is the zone where the uh, electric and magnetic field are per perpendicular, as we discussed before. The far field is the being far enough from the antenna that we uh, actually get a planar wave. Where this starts, actually, it starts uh, in ranges that are longer than twice the antenna aperture square divided by the wavelength but practically practically we have to uh, be careful here why because if we have very small antennas then uh, this number here might be a uh, very small uh, assuming we have a uh, let's say a monopole antenna and a, a, a wavelength which is uh, four times than the monopole antenna then uh, theoretically the uh, if we put it in this formula, you will see that uh, the far field starts very close to the antenna. But practically, we have to uh, get away from the antenna at least five wavelengths. Why? Because I remind, remind you the sphere that is around the antenna. Okay, if we are too close to the antenna and we try to look on a piece of this sphere, it won't be like a uh, rectangular planar rectangular it the the sphere is too close and the radius is too small then we won't get any place that where the uh, fields are the same in phase and amplitude and we want that to uh, ha to happen so we have to get away from the antenna so the sphere gets bigger and if we cut a, a, a slice in the sphere where uh, uh, in the size of a receiving antenna actually then it will be much like of a planar rectangular and we want to be in a zone where the sphere becomes much planar if we look at the small size small part of it the next term is the near field the near field is the actually the zone where the electric field and the magnetic field doesn't really radiate. It only it's like the generation zone of the radiation. Yeah. The strong the fields in this zone are very strong, and uh, uh, and this is very close to the antenna. We can look that uh, on the traditional definition of it as two pi per wavelength. Uh, you can understand this is very very close to the antenna. Uh, and from this range to the far field, we have, we have some distance that defined as Fresnel zone. Fresnel zone, this is the zone where the fields become from the strong and generation area to the, become the planar wave where the electric wave and the uh, electric field and the horizontal field are perpendicular. All this range from the antenna that the uh, 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 fields are shaped to the to the to perform like a planar wave. This is the Fresnel zone. 